<laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Okay, so um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the Harmonic Residence Flash Mob Collective that we have uh, recently started up. And it's pretty exciting. Um, what we are doing is taking the idea of the collective consciousness and the idea of changing the harmonic resonance of the field around us through love, through intention, and we're taking that to larger spaces. So we are healing spaces. So a number of us will amass on a space, come together, meditate um, on the same frequency as much as we can. It helps to play the bowl so that we can you know, come together on the same frequency. Charge our energy with love and then spread out into the space and carry that love out with us. Um, hopefully, we're going to spaces that actually are important, uh, such as City Hall, the University, uh, Chinook Mall, places that we feel need healing in some kind of way. We, our first one was at Chinook Mall just on the weekend. It was pretty successful, we were pretty happy. Um, ended up getting a lot of attention from shoppers and security, which is kind of <laughs> but. It's pretty funny being told that you can't meditate in a public space. Honestly, it was a threat to the consumerist culture that was happening around us, so they had to shut it down, right? <laughs> but people were um, taking a lot of joy in watching us, and, and I think they were inspired in knowing that something is going on in the world right now around us. And it's not just here. They're having flash mobs going on around the world that we've noticed recently. That was one of the things that inspired us, um, that inspired this idea. We had originally done a flash mob meditation uh, at the city hall during Occupy, but it was more just because we were waiting around and didn't have anything else to do. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Uh, we were waiting for council to reconvene, so we all popped down in the middle of the hall and, and just sat and meditated. It was really good. But. So, anyone who wants to join up, please let us know. We will be going to the university next time. Uh, instead of sitting in a large circle, because that will attract a lot of attention, that we are a formal group, and that they can come and tell us that we have to leave. Uh, what we're probably going to do is go in and sit down one at a time, and slowly gather, and slowly gather. Um, and hopefully this will encourage other students to join, because they won't know that we're not students. Security won't know that we're not students. And they're not going to probably walk up and tell a bunch of people who they don't know, you know sorry, you can't like meditate on school rounds because there's no consumerism to interrupt. So they probably won't <laughs> care. Uh, hopefully, it can go for a lot longer. If we do get kicked out of the main, probably food court area, we might move to the library or do the library just separately on another occasion. We want to try to heal spaces where a lot of thinking and decision making is going on. And the university is a great place for this because there's a lot of thinking going on, and a lot of people that are going to be involved in the future of our city. The library is a great space for this because, again, there's a lot of people coming to a lot of decisions and, and you know, coming to a lot of new ideas in their heads. If we can change the residents of that space, we can change possibly the kind of thinking and the intention that goes on with the people who walk through that space. So that's about it. If you want to join, please let me know. Questions? Have you ever videoed it to actually show results? Um, this last one was very briefly videoed for about 13 seconds and we got some, some photos of it. Um, but no, it wasn't as much to video the results and the people around. It would be really hard to gauge the actual results. So we have to kind of trust what we're leaving behind. I, th I think you could though, um, on an auditory level. In the mall it was really hard. That was actually one of the things is that the mall security came up and said, you know, it's a problem that you're videoing here. Um, if, oh. that one of you had a camera in, in the mall. It might be the same in the university, I'm not sure, but um, we'll probably have people with cell phone cameras instead of more conspicuous handheld devices. That'd probably be a lot better. Uh, you can ask anybody if they have a contract to compel your performance, and if they don't, you can tell them that you know, you're pretty good with just as, as a, as a, Is that even on uh, private property? Well, I don't know. No, I don't know about private property. But for, for a university, it's public property. Yeah. The university will be a lot better target because we have a lot more options there and we're not disturbing shoppers, right? So. <laughs>
Uh, the next one? Um, the next one probably is going to be on a weekday. It'll definitely be a 9 to 5. I'm thinking something like next Wednesday would be a good time. Uh, it seems like a lot of people put that down as one of the dates that they could come. So chances are it's going to be next Wednesday, but we're still trying to like, come up with a definite time. An announcement will be made pretty soon. Uh, if you want to become part of this group, come and talk to me afterwards and we'll, I'll get your contact information and add you to the group on Facebook. All right, thank you. Yeah.